I'm gonna show you a crazy workflow that I just got done building and executing that uses VO3 to build high-performing ad concepts for your brand on autopilot. It's broken down into phases here, and I'm gonna walk you through those, then I'm gonna show you my workflow environment and the end result. Phase one was data collection, phase two, video extraction, phase three, transcription, phase four, market research, phase five, gap analysis, phase six, video generation, and the last step, phase seven, is building a dashboard that houses all of this information and my final video edits. I use a number of tools here. I used Appify, JavaScript, Python, JSON parsing, OpenAI Whisper, uh, VO3, Claude, uh, Perplexity, Reddit, Next.js, and Vercel, but I did it all from Cursor, my favorite tool. So I'm gonna switch over here and I'm gonna show you what I was able to produce. Now, I've owned ad agencies and a number of other companies and I can tell you that to do this level of work and analysis, it would take your typical agency weeks. I'm one marketer. This tool and this workflow gives me the power of five people and I can do this now that I built this workflow in 30 minutes. So what I did uh, is I went out and I scraped cuts and true classics video ads. Once I scraped their video ads, I transcribed them. And I went through both of these sets of transcriptions and I went deep and understood uh, the scripts, the structure, the psychological uh, nature of how they're trying to attract customers, the benefits, the use cases, the calls to action, and even the hooks, which is super, super important. It extracted direct quotes from the ads, created comparative metrics, and uh, after I did that, I was able to go out into the internet and look for user-generated reviews that are relevant to these brands. It was an MCP that I utilized, perplexity, to go out and do deep research and find information. Once I found that information, what I did was I compared uh, what, how cuts and true classic are uh, trying to address pain points and what they're missing based on a bunch of information out on the internet from their target customers, all right? Once I did that, I had a wealth of information, unaddressed pain points for both brands, ICPs, uh, what complaints do people have, what are they talking about on the internet, and what aren't these brands doing in their ads? So you can see that output here. And I found this incredibly, incredibly interesting. Uh, let's look at uh, True Classic. So they address fit frustration, initial comfort, value pricing, and big brand problems. What they don't address is long-term durability, white shirt opacity, height specific fits, and review transparency. So <laughs> then it, uh, it, it kind of codified these unoccupied positions in the market, and I used all this information to build out scripts. Once I had these scripts, I was able to call uh, the VO3 API and produce videos. And I'm doing all of this from one interface right here from Cursor. It took me some time to set all of this up, but now that the workflow is completed, uh, I can replicate this in a matter of minutes to go from these powerful, powerful insights to a completed asset that if you wanted to, you could go and launch in your meta ads dashboard and start getting customers with. And I think that the most powerful aspect of this is this pre-research phase. So you're not just getting a prompt that you think will perform and going and using VO3 to do it. No, you're going out and analyzing competitors in great detail, analyzing reviews and what your target market's talking about online and using that to craft targeted prompts and scripts that are producing the final asset uh, for you. It's, it's pretty amazing. And uh, I don't think that most people understand uh, what's gonna happen to ad creation and content creation once you're able to unlock 
uh, this type of, of workflow. So that said, I'm gonna switch on over and I'm gonna show you the final output that I put together. So after I did all the analysis and got all this data and stuff, I wanted to create a simple dashboard that you know, if you're an agency or if you're running ads internally at a brand, you could share this with your team, with your boss, whatever you wanna do. So here's a walkthrough. This is a complete strategic intelligence report. Uh, we're talking about how many video ads we analyzed, the number of words we transcribed, how many final ads we created, and of course, 100% of this is actionable insights. So here's the executive summary. Uh, distinct market positions. So both brands have carved unique positions, but they miss post-purchase pain points in their ads. Big insight there. They have different ICPs in their ads. So Cuts is actually targeting females in their ads, focused on gift giving, and True Classic is targeting value conscious men. The major opportunity, there's significant white space in the market, and durability um, guarantees and transparency. And the unaddressed concerns based on real user-generated content and reviews on the internet, post-wash performance dominates it, but it isn't addressed in the ad. So what happens is people are buying these shirts or buying shirts and they're complaining that they're pilling or they're losing their color or whatever. So this is a big opportunity for a unique angle that either one of these brands could utilize in their ad assets. So we've got a brand positioning analysis here uh, that is kind of like an overall map of how each of these brands are addressing the ICP in their video ads based on the transcripts. Now, the key strategic differentiators uh, are visualized here. Again, we can see the difference that I mentioned between the target audiences, the conversion strategy that each brand is having, average script length, and things like that. So again, uh, this is kind of a summary of both brands' approaches uh, with their advertising, uh, problem hook statements, brand solution, benefits, use cases, CTA, whereas True Classic is taking more of a humor uh, type approach. They're both uh, going after sort of this problem solution structure, but in, in different ways. So uh, we've got some strategic insights here. Uh, market pain point discovery. So the universal pain points from Reddit, YouTube, and Amazon are post-wash performance, purchase confidence, and trust issues. So what I wanna do is kinda match those up versus what the brands are doing and, and find a wedge that I can use to create my ad asset that I would launch in the market. All right, so uh, you know this kinda goes on and on, but I wanna show you uh, sort of the end result here with VO3 that I created. Now, these aren't perfect. This is a one shot. Uh, if I were producing these for a brand or something like that, you know, we can work on the prompts and, and stuff. But I was pretty surprised by just this initial preview video that I was able to build uh, right from one interface. And let me show you how these look. This is the focus version. It's a direct to ca camera uh, testimonial with a product quality demonstration. And uh, the key features of this asset are authentic customer speaking, a dolly shot to fabric close-up, bold guarantee messaging, and a professional aesthetic. This True Classic shirt, six months old, worn every week, still looks brand new. All right, good stuff. Now let's look at the split screen, a little bit of a different style. And this is important when it comes to testing assets. One may perform better than the other. And once you get an initial version out, you can obviously double down, improve your prompts, and get a variety of outputs easily from you know, calling APIs and from one interface, I use Cursor. There's no complicated workflows to set up, by the way. There's no nodes and, and things like that. I'm working with agents, MCPs, and APIs. So here's this one. I bought this six months ago, worn it every week. Still get compliments. Okay, I think I like the second one better. Uh, how would I improve these with my next sort of iteration on the prompts? I'd make them longer, uh, of course. I would fix some of the spelling issues that you see here uh, in this one shot uh, iteration. So it's given me a, uh, next steps, like if I were a brand or if I were an agency, how would I uh, go and actually get the most from these ads to build my business? Now, just to give you a retrospect, uh, retrospective again on like what I did, what I used, and what the benefits are. So scrape, extract, transcribe, research, analyze, create, and deploy. That's a seven step 
workflow that I'm able to do now in 30 minutes after I took the initial time to set it up. Like, what would it take an agency or, or an internal brand team uh, to do this? Uh, I mean, really, it's, it's somewhat impossible unless you're a true Vibe marketer or you know, you're an engineer that really, really knows marketing. Um, so yeah, uh, here's a detailed process breakdown. I used, again, Appify, a bunch of the custom scripts, OpenAI, Perplexity, uh, Claude, et cetera. And uh, I think this is incredibly powerful. Uh, to me, being able to execute this workflow and get this real data on how a brand is going out there and trying to reach the ICP, understanding the gaps around what that ICP is actually looking for, and creating assets for that unaddressed pain point in a proven format and doing it with VO3, which is the best video model in the world, is a massive, massive unlock. So I hope that this gives you some ideas here. Um, I was blown away that I was able to create this. Again, Cursor is, uh, is massive for efficiency and leverage. Let me know what you think.